Hey everybody, this is Organic Dairyman and today is October 23rd and uh, how is everybody today? Um, we just got done filling the bin here and it is it's full and I don't want to put any more in there uh, we still got some on gravity box there we'll just have to leave it on there cover it up with a tarp but um, yes yeah, so we are done filling the bin we still got 50 bushels or so on the combine yet that we have to run off. Um, we gotta go get the combine home yet here too, so we'll probably do that here this afternoon. But uh, yeah, so it's full. We got more beans than we expected, so uh, it's a good thing. So anyways, um, I'm gonna climb back down here and uh, get going with some other stuff. Guess what job I get to do? <laughs> Yeah, I forgot to mention that I had to grind a batch of feed for the cows. My most favorite job on the farm. <laughs> Okay, everybody, um, I get to do another not so pleasant job, uh, which is to clean the uh, the barn, the gutter, turn the gutter cleaner on and clean out all the cow, cow crap, get it out of the barn. Uh, we need to get this done. Well, normally my brother, he always does it, but he's gone, he had to run to town for something right now, and we need to get the barn clean because we want to get the the duels on that tractor so we could start working that bean field that we got done um, over there um, yesterday. Um, so yeah, so that's what we gotta do. So I'm gonna clean that so we get get going with that job. And uh, I guess it ain't, it's not that bad. Um, if you see me um, pitching some manure in the spreader, the, the end gate on the spreader isn't bad, or excuse me, it is not it doesn't want to stay down so the manure leaks out so we have to take a little pitch a little manure in the back to keep it from leaking out um, we obviously had plans on buying a new manure spreader this year but uh, with the sun drop in the milk price you know last year that kind of put a damper on the idea of getting another manure spreader so a new one anyway so that's on hold for now, so we have to do do a little thing, do what we have to do sometimes to get by until we can afford to get a new manure spreader. A new manure spreader, but uh, yeah, so that's kind of what the deal is. So yeah, but at least I don't have to clean it by hand. Um, we did do that once when we were building under the barn. I had to clean it out by hand for I don't know how many weeks. Of course, it was just the old part of the barn that we had to clean out by hand. But uh, after that, I was. <laughs> I was pretty thankful we had that uh, gutter cleaner again because that's a lot of work cleaning, pitching a gutter out by hand. If, you, if anybody's ever done it, <laughs> it is a pretty low job on the farm. But I am going to fire this machine up and flip the switch. Boom. And away it goes. Farmer that's never spread manure before. 
just a little bit of advice. Um, when you do a spin maneuver, make sure that you're always going into the wind or towards the wind, not away from the wind, because otherwise you'll plaster the back of your track with manure. So, just a word of advice. Okay, now that the manure job is done, now we got to get the, the duels on over here and uh, so we could uh, go out, disc chisel the uh, um, soybean stubble. So that's the next thing on the agenda. Okay, everybody, we got the disc chisel hooked up, and my brother, he's going to do some work on it. I'll just a little grease it and replace the scraper on there, and then that thing will be ready to go. So that's that's what he's going to go go do, and uh, I'm going to grab a bite to eat, and then I'm going to go and uh, we're, hope, we're going to try to bring the combine back yet tonight. So the sun is getting close to setting, so I better get going. Okay, everybody, as you can see, I'm in the repair shed here, and uh, yeah, we never um, we never brought the combine back. Um, as you saw, uh, my brother, he was just leaving with the tractor and the disc chisel, and um, well, there was this, it had some, uh, just took longer to, uh, there was a scraper or something, a scraper that needed to be replaced, and it was just being a bugger, and and anyways, it just took longer to get it fixed and being the fact that um, it was dark, you know, getting dark at the time. And now it's obviously full-blown darkness. It's like, it's like, uh, oh, about uh, 8.25 in the evening right now. And um, so um, we decided that um, we're just going to go over in the morning or tomorrow, like, tomorrow early tomorrow afternoon and go get the combine because we still got to take the flex head off and put it on the trailer and it takes two people it's best to have two people obviously to do that job so um we decided we we're gonna do it he was gonna go over there and just start he's you know just gonna go take the tractor over there and start get uh established because we got the tractor with the gps on there so he's just gonna get an a b line start started and uh Anyways, then tomorrow, um, um, he'll go back, uh, and finish the, or start working at the, work at the field some more tomorrow, so he'll get worked, um, I don't know if we'll get it all worked tomorrow, but we're sure gonna try, um, I know, like, they're talking, still talking a good, well, I don't know, it seems like, I don't know what it is now, it might be down to, like, a 50% chance of rain or something, for tomorrow, um, 
I don't know. I haven't checked the weather here. So I don't know what uh, what's going to take place for sure tomorrow night, if it's going to rain or not. But um, let's see. What are they saying? Huh. LB. They were saying... They were saying a 50... A 50% chance of rain. They were saying 60 on Wednesday night. Now they're saying 0% chance. I don't know. I mean... I don't know. We look at the hourly forecast. Sometimes they change that, but... Um... Hmm. Yeah, there is actually it is twenty percent. You know, what do you what do you? It shows Thursday morning. Oh yeah, it's Thursday morning. They're showing, so it is kind of Wednesday nightish kind of, but it actually is, it's like two a.m. is seventy percent seventy percent chance of light rain. So other than that, you know, the rest of the forecast isn't looking like. Sunday, there's a 50% chance of rain and the kind of hit and miss and I don't know. So I don't know what's going to happen here with corn, but yeah. So anyways, um, yeah. So, but that's about all I've got for today's video. Um, not much else going on and, um, yeah. So, um, I guess, um, you plan for things and they don't always happen things come up things take longer than you wanted to take but main thing is we got the tractor ready to go but you know like say we got to get the combine back tomorrow I don't know if we'll get any time to get anything switched over on it to corn but um, maybe I'll get a few things switched over on it tomorrow I'll try to but anyways <sighs> by the time <laughs> It's just like I say, there's all these other little things that go on throughout the day and it just, it just eats into what, what, you know, like dealing with the cattle and everything. Sometimes it just eats into the other things. So you never really get the other stuff that you want to get done, done. So I guess sometimes you have a, a cow calf or a heifer calf and you got to deal with that and that, you know, you got to stop and deal with that. That's the way it works. On a dairy farm, any dairy, any dairy farmer out there knows that, so, but, yeah, so, um, anyways, guys, that's all I've got for today's video, it was another busy day, um, just like yesterday was, Monday, but, uh, yeah, and speaking of that, as I'm making this video right now, Monday's video is uploading, I don't know, it might be uploaded before midnight, um, Central Standard Time, I don't know, but I just, that there was so much stuff to edit in there, and, I just took longer than I wanted to, and um, it's just a lot of stuff to do. So, anyways, it's uploading. I don't know when it's gonna get uploaded. Depends. It just depends on the speed of the internet out here. But anyways, it's uploading right now. So, um, yeah. So, anyways, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have any questions, drop it down in the comment section below, and please hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. Um, check out all my other videos. Um, check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Organic Dairyman. And speaking of Instagram, if you, um, yeah, if you want to go check me out, um, here is here is my Instagram account, so you can check out and keep up to date on all of the latest things going on around the farm. If you or you know, saw my Instagram, you saw that we got the bin filled up today. Um, so, yeah, go and check it out. So, um, I do try to post stuff on there every day if I can, if I can, if I get a chance to. But, so, anyways, uh, thanks everybody for watching this video. Thanks to everybody that has subscribed. I appreciate all of you. And, um, I guess that's all I've got. Tomorrow is another day, so. I will catch you later.